All right, Jones. How are you going to find that statue and all this junk? Oof. These books don't look familiar. Uh oh. Better get that roof checked. Looks pretty slippery. An imitation of Bast, cat goddess of fertility. I'm not leaving without that statue. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith. Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is this? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this?
Mouse Kerner, huh? Good lord, indeed. A man some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want with a hooded statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. I can't move it. Hmm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. Was that an insult? Well, what do you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big voids, and I think you'd better apologize. Well, why should I, you fat tub of lard? That's it, wise guy. Put up your toes. Bigger they are, well, you know. Hey! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia to us employees, fella. 